for our picture Hercules, and we also was there uh, doing the Mike Douglas show. We did the show there. Out of Cleveland, right. Uh, well, as the gentleman said before, uh, Joe, you and the work of the boys are still very much loved here in the Cleveland area. Well, you know, they're replaying every, every eight or ten months, they put the shorts on here. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't forget, we made 110 shorts with the ca uh, cartoons in them. Sure. You know, we made them ourselves. You know, we had a, a live at the end, uh, beginning and then a cartoon in the middle and then about a minute or so at the end that we made ourselves. Well, they're running sometimes twice a week here in the Cleveland, three times a week in the Cleveland area. Sir, thank you very much for the call. Let's take another call for Joe Dorita, if we could. 526-6707 or 578-1220. Good evening. You're on the Steve Cannon Show with Joe Dorita. Hello? Yes. Good evening, Steve. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, Joe. Um, Steve Cannon said you were going to be on Thursday night, and I've been waiting since Thursday night to listen to this. And years ago, we would go down to the old Madison Theater, which is closed now, to watch the Three Stooges, or we would watch them all on um, Captain Penny's show. And, of course, we would copy all of your antics, and it didn't go over too well with our mothers. And, of course, in the Catholic school, it never went over too well. They, they just didn't understand this then. But you're still loved, and I'm about one of your biggest fans here in Cleveland. I collect all of your pictures and your rappers. And... I still even watch you. So I just wanted to tell you, you're still loved, and take care. Did you get that, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Daddy. Yes, I say it's a good long question. <laughs> I couldn't hear I heard her talking, but I can't... Uh, uh, well, she has been a fan of the Stooges since she was a child. She said she and her friends loved doing the Stooges material, but it didn't go over real well at the Catholic school she went to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they don't allow poking in the eyes there. No, I know they don't. Thank you for the call, man. Let's take another one here if we could. Joe Dorita with us, 578-1220 or 526-6707. Good evening. You're on the Steve Cannon Show. Hello. Yes. Hello, Joe. Can you hear me? This is Richard. Hello. Yeah, listen, what, uh, what was your favorite all-time feature that I, you I, made? I, I can't make out what you're saying. I, I hear your voice, but I can't distinguish. Okay. All right, I'll repeat it for you, Joe. Right. They can hear you better than you can hear them. We've got some phone line problems here. Okay. Outside of your work with the Three Stooges, the gentleman said, what was your favorite feature that you appeared in? My favorite feature picture? Yes. Uh, the Bravados with Gregory Peck. Oh, and boy. Joan, uh, I did the villain, and I was the hangman. Yes, I remember that well. Yeah. Okay, I wanted, I wanted to ask, whatever happened to Vicky Trickett that appeared in my favorite Three Stooges film, Three Stooges Made Hercules? Whatever happened to Vicky Trickett? The lady named Vicky Trickett, who was in the, the Three Stooges Beat Hercules with you, what's ever happened to her? Gosh, I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> you lose, you work with people, and uh, you don't see them again for years. It's been 20 years anyway since the film came out. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you for the call. Good to talk to you. 526-6707-578-1220. Good evening. You're on the Steve Cannon Show with Joe Dorita. Yes, I have uh, two questions for Curly Joe. Go right ahead. Okay, first of all, Curly Joe? Yeah? Uh, what is the status of Kook's tour? Is that available anywhere, that last travelogue movie you made? Well, I'll tell you about Kook's tour. We made that ourselves. That was supposed to be... Uh, a film that we made ourselves. We went on a tour up around the Northwest in trailers and a house car and things. And we made it ourselves and uh, we come back and uh, we put our money into it and we couldn't sell it because we were at the wrong time for the TV stations to market it. They had already, when we were ready, they had already bought the quota for the year. So uh, we, uh, Finally kept it, and we cut a couple of pieces out of it, and I think it's in a, in a 16 millimeter someplace. It is available. It's for sale, somebody's got a, a copyright on it because Norman told me he sold he sold the uh, thing just to get something out of it. Also, uh, I read about the new Three Stooges Act they had in '74 and '75 with you, Mousy Gaynor, and Frank Mitchell. What did he say? Uh, you and Mousy Gaynor and Frank Mitchell working together, did that, uh, whatever happened to that? Oh, we, we did uh, uh, two days outside of Boston and one day at a county fair in Iowa. 
And that was... Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, I wanted to take them out and try it out. Oh, Moen uh, was all right then. It was just Larry that was as well. Was, was that your last uh, show business work well. of any sort? It didn't go too well, he said, so that was the end of it. Was that his last show business appearance ever? Was that your last show business appearance, Joe? What? Was that your last show business appearance? It was, sir. Yeah, okay. And we called it a day, I, and uh, it was just you couldn't put somebody else's personality in another person. Sir, I thank you for the call. Good to talk to you tonight. Uh, 526-6707 or 578 We will con We'll continue to talk with Curly Joe DeRita right after we do this. Stay with us. We've got to sell our house. Don't panic. But where are we going to find a buyer? It's not easy. Let me get started. A Century 21 office can find a buyer across town or across the country. What about that couple in Denver? No, uh-uh. Then we'll have to keep looking. With over 6,000 offices, the Century 21 network has more buyers than any any other real estate sales organization. Hello, Mary. We just got our long-distance call. They're flying in tonight. That's great. You can bring a buy in the morning. And we can show buyers how to afford your home. Did they like it? Actually, they loved it. Then you sold your house. We, we sold, sold it. it. The Century 21 Scholarship Program can help you become a licensed Realtor now and at a considerable price reduction. Call 1-800-362-7498 for details. Classes begin in the Cleveland Akron areas in April and May. 1-800-362-7498. 1220 GAR reminding you that the Deaconess Home Health Agency has a new home hospice care program for the terminally ill. And if you can volunteer a few hours a week to help uh, out with this service, the number to call is 459-6694. From Cleveland's Community Service Leader, 1220 GAR. Our second in the 16 super trivia questions of the next two weeks is coming up in the next 15 minutes. Stay with us. There are times when you may not really need the high speed of Kodakolor 400 film from Kodak. But when things start moving a little, it makes more sense to use Kodakolor 400 film because great color action shots are what Kodakolor 400 film is all about. Capture the color and speed of life with Kodakolor 400 film. The faster it's moving, the more you need Kodakolor 400 film from Kodak. The Kodak Cleveland Force Fan Appreciation Night is Tuesday, April 19th at the Coliseum. Game starts at 8.05, and immediately after the game, Loge 1 will be roped off for picture-taking of your favorite Force player. Kodak Film, the official film of the Cleveland Force. Dr. Wayne Dyer, astronaut Deke Slayton, and you and I until midnight tonight on the new Steve Cannon Show at Stereo 1220 GAR. Not just what you need, but just what you want. Convenient food mart has. Just what you want. Delicious strawberry ice cream is now on sale at your nearby convenient food mart store. Pick up a big half-gallon carton for only $1.29. That's right. A big half-gallon carton of delicious strawberry ice cream is now on sale for only $1.29 at convenient. Remember, convenience open till midnight every night. Convenient food mart has just what you want. All right, at 13 before 8 o'clock on Stereo 1220 GAR, let's get back to the telephones once again. As you have noticed, we have a, prob a line problem uh, between California and Cleveland tonight, so I may have to translate a few of the questions or translate a few of Joe's responses. But I have worked as an interpreter before, <laughs> but never in a comedy act. This is a this is a first for me. Let me take another call if we could. Joe Dorita is in California. You and I are here in Cleveland. Let's go to the phones. Good evening. You're on the Steve Cannon Show. Good evening, Steve. Yes, sir. I need you to speak a little louder, please, if you would. I'm sorry. Joe, can you hear me? I think he can just barely hear you. Go ahead with the question. I'll translate. Okay. I have two questions. First of all, I want to know what he thinks was the high point of his career working with the Stooges, and also what was his all-time favorite motion picture he ever did with them? All right. Uh, gentleman has a fairly easy question. Uh, the high point in your estimation of your career with the Stooges, and what's the favorite film you did with the Stooges? Well, I, I would say my favorite was Around the World in a Day, but... Uh, I like uh, I like the uh, Hercules. The three students meet Hercules, and I also like the western. The, the, the w western we made. The was, outlaws is coming. Huh? Yeah, but, the outlaws is coming. Right. Does that answer your question, sir? No. What about the other one? Uh, his favorite. No, the high point of his career during working with them. Outlaws is coming around the world in the days and Hercules. And her, those three are the high points of his career with the with the students. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. All right, thank you very much for the call. Good to talk to you. Five two six six seven zero seven or five seven eight twelve twenty. Good evening. You're on the Steve Cannon Show with Curly Joe. Yes, yeah, Steve. Yes, sir. Yes, I have a seventy eight record here at home, 
and it's one side is all I want for Christmas. Christmas is my two front teeth, and the other side is called I got a cold for Christmas. And I was wondering if Curly Joe was one of the ones singing in that by the Three Stooges. It's a little '78 record. Did you do a Christmas record with the Stooges, Joe? Oh, yes. You did? We made several records. We made one for Decca singing songs. We made a Christmas record uh, uh, for a company in New York. I don't know what happened to that. Well, the gentleman has a copy of you singing All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth. <laughs> well, he's, he's lucky because I haven't got any now. Uh, do you, does he know if any of them are still in print or still... I, I kind of doubt after all of these years. Ah. Yeah. Okay, then. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much for the call. 526-6707 or 578-1220.